Hello everyone, welcome back to The Crew 2. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I haven't been producing any video clips for a couple of days now, and that is because I've been down with a cold. Uh, I hope I'm well enough now, though, to be able to perform this recording without too much coughing or being too snotty. In this episode, I was thinking we should get back to uh, performing all the contents for all the disciplines which we were working at before the live race we did for our episode 50, which was the last episode I put out. Uh, so this episode I was thinking, I was thinking uh, Rally Raid. I checked the map and we have seven Rally Raid um, events left. I'm not sure if we can make them all in this episode or not. Let's see if we can get through this fence. But, yeah, we hit. But uh, there is an event just down here. Uh, there it is. Uh, so let's start with that. And let's see how many we can do. And we'll just use our the Rally Raid car we have. Which we are pleased with at the moment. Hello, Bear. Haven't been out here in a while. Come to think of it, I may still hold the record on this course. Yeah, I think I do. Huh. You want to take a run at it? Go ahead. I'll stick around and watch. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see if I remember how to drive. <laughs> it's been a couple of days. Like I said, I haven't played this game at all for at least a week now. Uh, we also had uh, Midsummer's Eve celebrations. Before I got the cold. Uh, okay, so recommended performance level 50. We are at 100 in our car. Should be doable, right? Let's see how it goes. Seems we can go left, and the objective is left, so that seems like a good idea. If I can miss the trees, we're fine. Going a bit cautiously here through the forest. I hope I don't lose too much time by doing that. Whoa! No problemo! Still going in the right direction. Still on our on our four wheels, so to speak. All right, so closing up the checkpoint here. And then we go right or left, but we don't know where the checkpoint will be. Okay, it ended up in the middle. So let's take the shortest path. The objectives seem to be behind us on the mini map, at least. I think we're doing okay. And okay is good enough. Not sure if we would drive down into water here if we... Ah, yes, we did anyway. Ah, but we could cross there. A little bit of luck. Where is the checkpoint? All right, up here somewhere. Is this even drivable? Ah, uh, no. This is a bad idea, perhaps. It's I'm not sure if the objective is going some other route. Maybe this is a really bad route I'm going. Where can I get up there? Whoa! Spinning out a bit there. Okay, so here it is. Just get the feeling now that the objective surely is catching up on us. No, don't hit the tree as well. Come on! 80%. Can't get the gear in. Starting to snow now, alright? I'm just waiting for the finish! For the objective to pass us. Okay, the finish is a bit away off. So there is still a chance we can lose this. I feel the objective is quite close now. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Maybe we're doing this. 
I mean, come on. It's like recommended level 50. We have twice the performance. We should just do it. Yeah. Yes! Though you never have won without my pointers. That's a nice return to this game. Winning the first event. Even if we have twice the performance level, it's just nice to start with a win. So let's smack on the performance parts. This is in no way maxed out, I think. I think also we have some pilot points there, some icon points uh, we can apply. So there it is. Okay, plus two to the performance level. Let's check the, if we have any icon points as well. Yeah, two icon points, one in comfort. Let's just build, try to max these out. All right, and they go for the next race. So six races to do, should be. Yeah, so we cleared the one up here. Let's just pick any of these and go. Some folks like Wade wonder how it's possible to love nature and big engines at the same time. Well, it's a big country and we like to find our way to the roughest, toughest corners of it. That means we need the roughest, toughest machines. And you don't get out there by thinking small. So think big. Yeah. Like also like Enduro MX. Uh, yeah, maybe not that big, but you know, that, I, yeah, that would be the same thing if you ask me. Although not think big, that's think small. The trick is taking what the terrain gives you. Let's try and choose a decent path here. Can't, of course, not cross right across the rocks there. And here we need to drive around the rocks as well. Should we go perhaps under the square balloon here? Just because, why not? The objective is just behind us on this one. This race had a somewhat higher recommended performance level, though it was 70, I think. The last one was 50, right? Okay, let's try to not smack into these rocks here. Two hundred and thirty kilometers on fifth gear. Not not so often we use the fifth gear as of yet on this car. Perhaps more when the performance level increases further. But I think it's still rather unusual that we actually drive or get up on the revs uh, while while on fifth gear. Just trying to not smash into anything here. Okay, he's passing us now, the objective. That bad. See his headlights there. Need to take this jump. See if we can create a little gap. Only 40%. This seems to be a bit longer, this race, right? Like we're losing speed. Whoa! Did not expect that. Car in the middle of off-road race. Um, yeah, we're finding a path here. Oh, he's passing us again. Quite tight or even this race so far. We are not creating any decent gap at all. But it's okay. As long as we win. Right? That good enough thing and all that. Let's just hope we don't smash into anything. We 
can't afford really to come to a dead halt here since we are constantly <laughs> uh, it feels like we're constantly driving at the approximate same speed as the objective so if we would fall behind we would most likely have trouble catching up let's see if we can get some speed here Okay, ah, oh, the safety jump. Hmm, how will we get there? Will we drive through the cliffs or do we have to go around them? Okay, a path is opening up for us. Finish! Okay, let's take the jump so we don't mess up on that narrow bridge. Oh no! We can't afford that. Right in front of the finish. Maybe we have just enough of a gap. What's this? Is this the jump? Whoa, let's hope so. Boost in the air! Okay, will we hit the finish if we go here? Yeah, yeah, okay. Looks good, looks good. Hooray! 11 second lead even. Nice. Going well so far. I think the highest recommended performance level for these kinds of races, the Rider Raid, is 70. So yeah, we saw that it was even, but we made it, so all of these should of course be doable then. Let's apply these new performance parts to improve the performance. Uh, as we see that uh, it's so even that upping the performance <laughs> is of course a good thing and might be needed in case we have more like trouble in the upcoming races let's say we come to two three dead halts hit a couple of trees or rocks or something um yeah then we might need all the performance we can get all right moving on arc park trade So someone did this race in 2 minutes and 32 seconds, that seems really fast. Something tells me we won't even be close to that. But maybe it won't be as long as the last race we drove, that seems quite long. Ah, utility vehicles, okay. Still a bit annoyed by those pop-ups. They are very distracting. Am I going the right direction? It seems like, I mean, the waypoint is way off, but I didn't see that I could go any other way, so it should be the right direction, right? Creating a bit of a gap here in this race. Never know when that might come in handy.
Ah! Yeah, that's why I'm a bit quiet because I know I'm a bit focused because I know that if I get a drift or something like that, or if I hit a rock, I mean it's going swell right now, but things may change very quickly. Like, look at this. Losing a lot of speed there, trying to get control of that slight drift we got. Wonder if we can take a shortcut here. And get up some speed as well. Yeah, that seems to be a perfect spot. Just randomly hit the perfect spot for for that. Good. So now now we have a eight second comfort zone, so to speak. No idea how to get to the next checkpoint, but let's just try to follow the road. Seems like our safest bet. Don't want to end up in a situation like... If you remember, if you have followed the series... The other race, a couple of episodes ago, where we followed the arrows... But ended up in a mountain wall where like no place to go. We just saw the objective take a totally different path. And we fell way behind from a bit of a lead because even though we tried to follow the arrows there were nowhere to go yeah but that history did not repeat itself here which is good so it seems we're just sailing easily into the finish here this one seemed easier than the last race actually we just cruised through this one so three wins in a row, nice. Good to be back in the crew too. And we get some gearbox upgrades and we get some exhaust upgrades. Alrighty then. So that three races down, four to go. Let's just get the next one, Red Rock. No speech for us here. Nice, sun is coming up. Ready to raise. Don't get too aggressive or you'll wreck. And you're a long way from a tow truck. Really? All right. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, lots of trees here, lots of trees here. Doink. No. Have to take it really easy. The objective is nine seconds behind. It looks like he's yeah he's closing in. Because he's really close on the minimap. We're okay. Maybe this was a bad path. Maybe we should <laughs> ah, follow the road. But yeah, he's taking the same path and he's passing us now while we are trying to get control of this uh, drift speed that we got maybe we can boost in the air from here let's try <laughs> was that a good idea oh no no we're gonna miss the checkpoint we're just bouncing everywhere no come on oh my god yeah it, it started really well we passed him and then some but then the landing the the bouncing just never ended and yeah it just went bad bouncy bouncy is this a good path or is everything going bad this race that eight second lead we had in the beginning oh the objective is just 
sailing away from us. We totally lost it now. How far behind are we? 11 seconds behind? Let's skip the jump. Let's just go. We got some catching up to do now. Seems we're super fast though. 57% down in the race. Okay, 5 seconds behind. Seems we have good chances of catching up actually. There he is. But no more messing around now. No more like crashes or bad paths or bouncy bouncy or uncontrollable drifts losing speed. It could be doable. Just one second behind now. You gotta drive like you really want this. Alright man, alright, thanks for pro tip man, alright. I really want it, man, I really want it. Eighty percent. Back in the lead. What? Twelve second lead. He's right behind me on the minimap. I doubt that that uh, time calculation is correct. Eleven seconds seems too much. But yeah, yeah. thirteen. And now he's catching up. When he was he's catching up while we we're using the nitro. All right. So many like pop-ups. Hey, did we just get the yellow part? Let's see what that was. Alright, yes, we did. So, let's just check the pro settings. What? No, <laughs> not the pro settings. I mean, they fixed that. So, okay, nitro power, nitro refill speed, that's all good. Multiply followers, alright. Okay, that's good, I guess. Next race! Almost lost count, but I think we're done four, right? Yeah, three to go. Yellowstone. Let's go! Here's the thing I love about Rally Raid. Everybody's got to find their own path. Your way, my way. They may not have anything in common, but we're all aiming for the same place. Kind of a metaphor for life, really. And while you think about that, I'll set the pace. Sounds deep, man. Must have thought about that for quite some time, yeah? And go! Find a way through the trees and beside the rock. Ooh, very easy to bounce into something there. Let's take the jump. Move away, buffaloes! Oh, okay. Handbrake. Yeah, I'm even adding sound effects now. Ah, oh, darn you, objective. Just knowing always exactly where to go. I'll take a shortcut, though. Did you know about this one? Oops. Darn you, objective. Okay, maybe just follow the darn road then. Nothing else works. Where is the road going even? You're not even following the road works! What is that? <laughs> Alright, let's focus now. Let's do like we always do. Never mind the road. Let's take the shortest path. Yeah, catching up now, aren't we? Oh, how can I get up there? Maybe here. Okay, so here's the checkpoint. And the objective is so far ahead. Darn him. Yet again, he just drove the perfect path. 
Only 30, 38% though, so we have lots of time to catch up. I'm not gonna say that it seems like everything is going wrong in this particular race. I won't go there. But so far, it has been a bit troublesome, you might say. But there is still plenty of race to do. I think we passed the... No, the objective is up there. percent bouncy 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 just a second behind though if it should open up or something like that then yeah we could pass him oh no I wanted to say I wanted to not you know take any chances on the jump I wanted to take a safe route because maybe I thought I would pass him now uh, but then I smashed into the rock so That's all for safety, right? Smashing into the rock instead. <laughs> Gained nothing on that. So, this is looking quite bad now. 30% left and just lost to the objective again. And it seems you gotta like... You push it harder or you'll never beat the record. Oh really? Thanks for that uh, finish. This is doomed. He's so far ahead now that uh, I think that sealed the deal. Really, that rock. No, okay. Yeah, we actually had a chance to catch up. We were caught up really quick there. Uh, so, actually that power slide, I think, sealed the deal now. We have not nothing else to do but just put the pedal to the metal, go through the trees, and just pray that we don't uh, end up with a dead halt in a tree. Then we can make it. But yeah, I didn't even have time to say that and that's exactly what happened. So yeah, this race is going all the wrong way so far. And there we can stand with our nose deep into a tree and just watch the objective sail to finish. Alright, that's just car games. Sometimes, yeah, you know, <laughs> there is nothing but struggle. So let's retry. Let's not miss the retry button. We have done four races with no issues, though. So to have to do, I mean, replay this and have some struggle. What's the word I was looking for? Have some struggle with one of them. I guess it will have to be fine. It might mean, though that we won't be able to do all of the races in this episode because then it might be, take too long usually we have time to do like maybe four to six races depending on how long they are in one episode uh, but in this episode we were trying to squeeze in seven and that sort of was if all races would go smoothly so this, yeah, this might be... I'm not saying that we won't do all. Uh, but it might mean that we won't be able to squeeze in all seven races. We'll see. To maybe try to go along the road here more now like like he did so not get yeah ah oh, look how open this is compared to the path we took last time through all the trees and stuff but little did we know right about that This seems to be a better road as well. Sort of avoid all the rocks and mountains. Drive outside them. Ah. Jinxed it, man. Think we're going extremely slow now. Have to find a way through here. 
this this I remember. We drove here. Ah! Don't spin just before the turn. We sorted it as well. Lost some speed maybe, but I sorted it 17 seconds ahead. Alright, okay. And suddenly that super fast decreased. And now we know. Take the jump, take the jump. Okay. Almost pointing the wrong direction now. Get some speed up. I see we just saw that he was closing in like we had a 17 seconds it decreased to quickly to like in two seconds it decreased to 11 seconds so he was catching up fast for some reason oh bouncy bouncy okay i think he might pass us here now got a bad feeling in my stomach going to slow and then going to complete halt as well having some like too much drift losing speed struggling to control the car here yeah, four seconds now so 17 seconds has become four seconds we are now closing up to the finish again let's hope we'll make this this time try and stay in control try and find an open path maybe follow the signs not take any unnecessary risks it's okay if we win by four or one second okay so yeah that works i'm trying to get the reverse in but yeah, struggling. Like I said, it's okay if we win with just one second. I mean, good enough. As long as it's good enough, I will win. Let's see if we can get down here without any further issues. Off the throttle, just navigating through all the obstacles. And now, here we go. Yes! Did not feel like we had a 10 second lead there. Feels like he is quite close. But might be wrong. Alright, nice. Made that as well. So some new performance parts. This race sort of proved... <laughs> what I was saying earlier, that if there is a race where we struggle more, we will surely need all the performance we can get. But like in there, when there are like these bouncy bouncy situations, where you just bounce, bounce, bounce and miss the checkpoint or end up in a tree, the performance level can't save you, right? I'm glad you accepted my invite. I'm thinking, maybe I read you wrong. What would you run in with Wade? It seems like you're pretty decent folk. So, I've got a proposition for you. A rally raid race, just you and me. And I promise, win or lose, what's waiting at the finish line is worth it. Hmm, interesting. We will receive like a reward for this vehicle. Uh, <laughs> vehicle, yeah. That's what I was thinking. A vehicle. Uh, at the finish line or something for this race. Interesting. Hear him boosting. Oh, he hit me, and that worked swell for him, not for us. Okay, where, where is the road? We have dense wood, wood here. Staying in the open. Okay, he's way over there already. That's some scenery, huh? He's some talker, huh? Watch yourself, this terrain is tricky. It's easy to get wrecked. Mm -hmm. That's a tight turn. Whoops! Just touched the throttle there. See if we took the bad path again. We could go left or right, and we should go far to the right. So, yeah. This choose something else this time checkpoint is over there i feel we are way behind way behind now it's not the destination it's the journey except in this race it's both careful he's gonna want to stop the race to meditate yeah he's ahead of us already 
far ahead even. Yeah, we're 10 seconds behind at the moment. Where, where are we going? Where are we? <laughs> God darn it! Where is the checkpoint? Oh my god, okay, it was behind the mountain. Now right. you're racing for real. No, I'm not racing for real. I'm like falling way behind and I'm driving in circles wondering where where to go. Which direction to race. <laughs> Let's see if we, we need to take some kind of shortcut here. We can't take the road just. We need to like traverse the mountain here or something. We are so far behind, I don't know, I don't even want to see the timer. Are we like 23 seconds or something behind? Okay, so I guess we should take this jump then. 17 seconds, 18 seconds behind, yeah. Finish, okay, he's already at the finish. Guaranteed. Wow, okay. The last race was bad, but this was worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's in finish already. We're 15% uh, left of the race. Wow, this was so bad. I'm glad to see I was wrong about you. Second, yeah. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Annoying, actually. God, it's not working! If we fail this one, it would be a fifth fail, I think. Woo! Finally! Let's see what reward we got. Hell of a race there. Too bad Wade wasn't around to spoil it. I told you the finish was worth it. Was I right, or was I right? All right, so the reward was a view. Oh well, good enough, I guess. We don't need any more cars, er, do we? It's always fun with more cars, but anyway. Nice to finally have that done. Now, I remember a couple years back, up in the Cascades, I hit a patch of scree and got totally turned around. I found this perfect little lake. It felt like no one had ever been there before. We race there now. It's the best thing in the world, cutting a trail like that. That's its own kind of magic. When you leave the road behind, you never know what you'll find. In the end, it's about what riding this way means. It's about the challenges we take on and what that says about us. You understand? It's about who we are and what we're made of. And it's about testing ourselves against the biggest and baddest thing nature can throw at us. Because there's no point to take in the easy way, is there? I hear you and your new best friend went off to play in the woods together. You want to waste your time and energy on a race that can't do you any good? Fine, whatever. It's your call. It's not going to put food on the table. And you best keep that in mind. All right, great. Finally finished that. So, now that that is finally done, uh, we will progress with um, adding the performance parts, of course, checking the icon loot, and yay! We have a hobby reward as well. It seems like we have unlocked all the narratives for this family. 
So let's just check that out. Maybe the entire row of narratives for that is now uh, filled out. Let's see. Narratives. Yes, off-road. This is the first family where we have unlocked all of the narratives. Uh, so yeah, nice, cool. Progressing nicely through the game after all. So here we have some icon loot. Oh, wait a second. Do I want that for the off-road car? Really? Maybe I should choose another car real quick. Which car do we want it for? Hmm. Maybe, 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 uh, maybe supercar. Or what's it called? Hypercar. Because... We race. We have some hypercar races left, and I was even thinking that maybe when we do those, we also want um, a new hypercar, perhaps. There it is. Clicking the wrong icon reward. Suspension. Nice. We won't do anything with that because we just want to sort of like stock up on that and building on what we already have here with the icon points. So. Uh, we'll just leave that there, no problemo, and we will stay focused and move on with the last rally raid race in the game. It will be Great Sand Dune rally raid race. Great Sand Dune. No introductory speech, totally fine. Let's see if the weather clears up or will the last race be a muddy race in the rain. Three. No, it cleared up. Nice. One. Like a desert rain. <laughs> what am I saying? Desert race. Oh, in motocrosses as well. Those are not that fast. So we should pass those easily. Okay, so motocross is actually off-road motorcycles. Okay, let's try and focus now. This could be bouncy bouncy, and we know that affects the handling quite a lot, and we might, buy, might even bouncy bouncy away from like checkpoints and stuff, so we need to focus a bit here. Oh, you can actually come to dead halt there. Okay, now we know at the last race. What a wonderful time to figure that out. You can come to dead halt by the checkpoint pose. like a Dakar race. Trying to time the bouncy bounces here so I bouncy bouncy land at the good bouncy bouncy land position or place so I don't bouncy bouncy away in a wrong direction or something like that or bouncy bouncy loose handling or no. Okay we might take a little flight here Took us to the first position actually. Not by far though. Like a second only. Fifty percent. I think I see the path up here. Whoa, don't miss the freaking checkpoint now. Five seconds lead, that's a bit better because you never know with the bouncy bouncy and handling handling. It's like this happens now. We have like really slow speed due to a lot of drifting. Yeah, they're catching up. One is almost close the entire gap we had created already. Gap four seconds. We know they can close it real fast, so not leaning back, so speak. Finish. That's nice. Let's get the course set. Nice. It's kind of flat here, so maybe we can use. I think we got some good speed here. 
speed advantage due to our performance level. So yeah, great, nice. That's our last Rider Raid race. And we managed to squeeze them all in in this episode, thanks to some post-editing. <laughs> but still, it's so good to get them. Hey, you just bounced me, or hit me, so I missed the loot. It's nice to get all of these races, like, wrapped up into a final Rider Raid episode. So let's see now. I don't have to spend time adding the performance parts right now because I know that this might be a long episode as it is. But we see that the filter is reset. We can verify that to do there is no rally race. And we can see that the disciplines here are shrinking. We are working through them all. The biggest discipline still is street race. So I expect like um, maybe two street race episodes uh, still to do. And then one of each of these. Maybe, I don't know how fast Air Race is, but those also have nine episodes. That might be a bit much for one single episode. Uh, un unless those races are really quick. I don't know, because we've never done them. So it, then apparently there are nine Air Races in total in the game. All right. But anyway, I won't um, draw this out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy uh, me producing content again, coming back from this uh, short uh, one week of um, midsummer festivities and uh, on on following uh, cold. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you liked it, like I said, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment as it helps me. If you want to stay tuned for new content, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell button. Thank you all, have a nice day, bye bye.